Welcome to the video tutorial for the HeartCheck handheld ECG device. The FDA cleared and Health Canada approved HeartCheck ECG device is a portable, handheld heart rhythm monitor capable of detecting a wide range of potentially serious arrhythmias. Storing up to 200 ECGs, data can be downloaded to a computer or sent to a physician, clinic, or ECG coordinating center for analysis. In this video, you'll learn about the features of the device as well as how to take different types of measurements. Package list. When you open your HeartCheck ECG device, take a moment to familiarize yourself with the items and accessories included in the package. Your HeartCheck package should contain the following items. A HeartCheck ECG device, two AAA batteries, ECG lead wires, a package of electrodes, a USB cable, and a storage pouch. Your package will also contain documentation such as an instruction manual, a certificate of quality, a quick start guide, a service policy label, and a packaging list. Inserting the batteries. When you first open the HeartCheck handheld ECG device, you'll need to install the two AAA batteries included in the package. The battery compartment is located at the back of the device. Simply slide the hinge to the left to remove the battery cover. Install the batteries by lining up the positive and negative symbols on the battery with the corresponding symbols on the battery compartment. Remember to turn off the device before replacing the batteries. Setting the date and time. Once the batteries have been installed or replaced, you'll need to set the date and time. To turn the device on, press the power button located at the top of the device. Once powered on, the monitor will display five main categories. These five categories are measurement, graph menu, set menu, data management, and version. Use the up and down buttons located at the bottom of the device to scroll to the category of your choice. To set the date and time, use the arrow buttons to scroll to the set menu category. Once the set menu is highlighted, press the OK button located at the bottom right of the device to select the highlighted category. Once in the set menu screen, highlight and select date and time. You can change the date and time using the arrow buttons. Press the OK button to set the highlighted date and time of your choice and move to the next column. Once you've finished setting the correct date and time, press the menu button located at the bottom left of the device to return to the previous screen. Easy versus continuous mode. Before using the device to take readings, ensure the device is set to easy mode. From the main menu, scroll to the measurements category and select OK. Once in the measurements category, there are two options, easy mode and continuous mode. Make sure easy mode is highlighted. In easy mode, the device is ready to take and store up to 230 second ECG readings. While in this mode, these readings can be viewed, stored, or uploaded at a later time. In continuous mode, the device will only show a real-time continuous ECG and will not save the ECGs onto the device. Press the menu button to return to the previous screen. Taking wrist measurements. There are several ways to take an ECG measurement using the HeartCheck handheld ECG device. For screening programs, the best approach is by starting with a wrist measurement. To take wrist measurements, you'll need to use the ECG lead wires and the electrode patches included in the package. First, place an electrode patch on the patient's left wrist. Then, place another electrode on the patient's right wrist. Finally, place another electrode on the back of the patient's left hand. Once all the electrodes are in place, attach the ECG lead wires to the ECG port located at the top of the device. The port for the lead wires is labeled ECG on the device. Once the lead wires are connected, you'll need to attach them to the electrodes by simply snapping them into place. Attach the white lead wire, labeled RA for right arm, to the electrode located on the patient's right wrist. Then, attach the black lead wire, labeled LA for left arm, 
to the electrode located on the patient's left wrist. Finally, attach the red lead wire, labeled LL for left leg, to the electrode located on the back of the patient's left hand. Once the electrodes are connected, press the power button to power on the device. Then, press the start button to enter the preparation stage. To better ensure you're getting a high quality ECG reading, have the patient rest their elbows on a sturdy surface such as a table while taking the reading. This helps steady the patient during the reading period, which will more likely produce a cleaner ECG waveform. After the preparation stage is complete, which takes 6 seconds, the device will begin the ECG reading. It takes 30 seconds to obtain a complete measurement. Once the measurement is complete, the device will provide the heart rate and a basic analysis of the ECG reading. Select Save to save the results within the device. The device will then display a name and user ID. The device will ask whether or not the reading that was just taken is for the same patient as the name and ID displayed on the monitor. Since during the screening program, you will not be required to collect personal information for each patient, highlight and select Yes to proceed. Since everybody's body type is unique, a wrist measurement may not necessarily produce the highest quality ECG reading in all people. Some ECG readings may produce an ECG waveform that is not clear enough for a healthcare professional or physician to make an accurate diagnosis. A common indicator that the ECG reading may be unclear is that after the reading is complete, the monitor displays an unhappy face and a heart rate over 100. In this scenario, the best course of action is to take a chest measurement. Taking chest measurements. To take a chest measurement, attach the white electrode, labeled RA, under the patient's right collarbone. Then place the black electrode, labeled LL, under the patient's left collarbone. Finally, place the red electrode, labeled LA, under the patient's lower left rib cage. Once the electrodes are in place, press the start button to enter the preparation stage and begin the 30 second ECG reading. After the reading is completed, select yes to proceed, then yes again to save the reading within the device. If you're still unable to take a clear reading using the chest measurement, try taking another chest measurement by swapping the lead wires under the left collarbone with the lead wires on the lower left rib cage. If after swapping the lead wires, the monitor continues to display an unhappy face and a heart rate over 100, inform your on-site ECG technician or supervisor. Uploading ECGs. Each heart check ECG device can hold a maximum of 200 ECG readings. During a screening program, you should stop using the device once you've reached 180 readings. The number of readings stored on the device is indicated at the top right corner of the monitor. Once the monitor displays a 180 of 200, submit the device to your on-site supervisor. Your on-site supervisor will upload the ECGs stored on the device to the HardCheck website so that the device can be cleared and continue to be used during the screening program. Viewing ECGs on your device. In case you need to view an existing ECG recording, the HeartCheck handheld ECG device allows you to access each recording stored within your device. To access the recordings, select the menu button to browse to the home screen and use the arrow buttons to scroll to the graph menu category. In the graph menu, you can scroll through all of the ECGs recorded on your device using the arrow buttons. Each ECG is categorized by the date and time it was recorded and while highlighted, the device will also indicate the corresponding heart rate, user ID, and name stored for each recording. To view the actual ECG, simply select OK on the highlighted ECG of your choice and scroll through the 30 second waveform using the arrow buttons. Select Menu to return to the previous screen. Adjusting Brightness The HeartCheck handheld ECG device also allows you to make other various adjustments. These additional features are located in the Set Menu category, accessible from the home screen. Simply scroll to the Set Menu category using the arrow keys. Select OK when Set Menu is highlighted to access the Set Menu features. Using the arrow keys, 
scroll to the Brightness category and select OK to enter. Here, you can use the arrow keys to adjust the brightness of the device's monitor. Select Menu to return to the previous screen, turning the beep on and off. By default, the device will produce a beeping sound when taking a reading. You can turn off the beeping sound by scrolling to and selecting the Beep category within the Set Menu section. Here, you can select Off to turn the beeping sound off or On to turn the sound on again. Adjusting Auto Power Off. If left untouched, the HardCheck ECG device will automatically power itself off after a given period of time. You can adjust this feature by scrolling to and selecting the Auto Power Off category located in the Set Menu section. While in the Auto Power Off screen, simply use the arrow buttons to increase or decrease the amount of time it will take for the device to turn off if left untouched. In some cases, the ECG waveform produced by the device may need to be adjusted to better fit the monitor. To do this, scroll to and select the Wave Scale category also located in the Set Menu section. Use the arrow buttons to decrease or increase the sizing from 0.5 to 2.0. Generally, the device works best at 1.5, however each patient's ECG may vary in strength and size. If you have any questions during your screening program, speak with your on-site supervisor or ECG technician. Thank you for watching the video tutorial for the HardCheck handheld ECG device. For additional information on how to use the device, visit www.theheartcheck.com slash how.